When I first started out, I saw it as an art form. But they kind of forget, calligraphy is an art form anyway. To me, when I saw calligraphy, that piece was actually like a drawing, not an actual document. My name is Malik Mimaslan. I'm a professional artist. Traditionally, it's easier for the Chinese to actually start with modern script because it's really relatable. But for my case, it was a special case. So that's why we started with ancient script. I was first attracted to what people would call seal script. Seal script is really very pictorial. It makes sense for me back then. First of all, I didn't know any Chinese character. Stroke order, they don't say. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't understand at all. That's when I started like, oh, okay, mimic the pictures. The characters that I see really represent what it's supposed to represent. Like for example, the symbol for the sun. And the dot, the middle, then circle probably because it gives that sun rays, you know. Then, uh, mountain. One, two, three. It looks like a kid drawing uh, mountains. The horse. Some people are like, hey, what's this? Uh? But if you show them and you tell, okay, this is the eyes, this is the body, uh, this one tail. Then, uh, oh, they understand. There are thousands of ways to judge what a good calligraphy is. So first of all, it's the meaning of the word. Like for example, Chinese New Year, you have all the Chinese New Year sayings and all that. Then there's composition. Sometimes they don't line up. Sometimes they put one higher than another. Then form of word. He can stretch the word, he can make the word much more rectangle form. Everybody agreed like, that Chinese is the first or second most hardest language in the world. My mother tongue is Malay language. So if you say that you don't understand the meaning of word, you cannot appreciate Chinese calligraphy. Uh, then I would not have been interested at all in Chinese calligraphy. Last time, I like seal script, now I like chao shu. Chao shu is like an abbreviated of kai shu. From five strokes, you can make it into four or three strokes. Because I understand the meaning of word, and because I write it a lot, I have a better understanding of the form of that word. Chao shu, oh, very interesting, wow, the lips and the folds, the, wow. We often uh, discover things as we go on about ourselves. So, my calligraphy as go on is always changing. And I think if you ask most calligraphers, the answer will always be the same. Chinese calligraphy first started on bones, bamboos, and then paper. Because I'm a millennial artist, and each time an era comes in, you must reflect what it is. So our time is the digital era. That's why I started to do virtual reality calligraphy. Because I come from an art form that preserves the old. So there was a lot of tug of warp. Even though art may seem to be only for a very elitist few, but I feel the need to open it up. So that's why I'm trying to make it accessible. Between becoming the LV or Uniqlo of the art world, I'd rather be the Uniqlo of the art world. My inspiration is to actually create Singaporean style calligraphy, something that reflects the Singapore culture. But what is it, I do not know. Because we know that the other cultures, like the Japanese, took many years to create their own philosophy of calligraphy and all that. Any art form may seem very rojak at first but it will go through a system of refining by the following generation. Usually a style is because of generations of artists. So when I say that I want to create Singapore calligraphy, it cannot be only in the hands of Malik Mazlan.